In this tutorial, we will teach you how to create a folded paper texture effect on your text. First of all, pick up the text tool and type in your text. For this tutorial, we have used impact for the font, keeping the font size at 160 points and font spacing at 30. It is better to have a strong font for this effect. Place the text at the center of the canvas. Now make a rectangle the same size as your canvas and fill it with a lighter shade of blue. Once done, send it at the back and lock it from the object menu. With that done, expand the text from the object menu and fill it with white color. In the layers panel, rename the one you are working on right now. Add a new layer from the bottom and name it Folded Shapes. Now we will draw lines on the text using the pen tool. Draw lines in such a way that they cut through each letter. Select all of the illustration and click on the Divide option from the Pathfinder panel. Now ungroup the text from the object menu and click on the Folded Shapes layer. Select the portions you want to fold and send them to the new layer by right-clicking, going to Arrange and sending them to the new layer. Reflect the separated portions by using the Reflect tool or rotate them from the Selection tool. With that done, position the reflected part of the illustration on the alphabet. Change the colors of these folded portions to light gray so that they are easily visible. Go to the Effect menu, drop down to Warp, and apply the Arch effect to each portion. Specify the vertical or horizontal option and the angle according to each shape. Next, we will add gradients to these shapes. We've mixed it a bit here, using a radial gradient on the letters A and B while applying a linear gradient on the other three letters. Adjust the linear gradient so that they are darker towards the fold. Duplicate the folded shapes layer and add the drop shadow effect on them. Use normal for the mode, 30 for the opacity, negative one point for the X offset, two point for the Y offset, and set the blur value to three. Add a new layer, name it Shadows, and copy the text on it. Fill this with black color and reduce its opacity to 11%. Position the shadow illustration around the text. To send this behind the text, first bring the shadows layer beneath all the layers. Notice how it goes behind the background as well. Unlock the background. Shift it onto a new layer and place it behind all the other layers. Now adjust the shadow and zoom in to get a clearer view.